In this episode, I will give you a general overview of clean architecture. Also, I will walk you through the layers of the binary plate solution. Clean architecture is a software design philosophy that separates the elements of a design into ring levels. An important goal of clean architecture is to provide developers with a way to organize code in such a way that it encapsulates the business logic. The main rule of clean architecture is that code dependencies can only move from the outer levels inward. Code on the inner layers can have no knowledge of functions on the outer layers. The variables, functions, and classes that exist in the outer layers cannot be referenced in the inward levels. Like other software design philosophies, clean architecture attempts to provide a cost-effective methodology that makes it easier to develop quality code that will perform better, make it easier to change, and have fewer dependencies. A common way of visualizing this architecture is to use a series of concentric circles, similar to an onion. This diagram shows an example of this style of architectural representation. In this diagram, dependencies flow toward the innermost circle. The purple circles represent the core layer which takes its name from its position at the core of this diagram, and it consists of two sublayers, the application layer and the domain layer. And you can see on the diagram that the core layer has no dependencies on the other layers. Outside of the core layer, both the presentation and the infrastructure layers depend on the application core, but not on one another. In a clean architecture solution, each layer has clear responsibilities. As such, certain types belong in each layer, and you'll frequently find folders corresponding to these types in the appropriate project. The presentation layer in the binary plate solution is the entry point for the application, and it consists of three projects, the host app project, the blazer plate project, and the web API project. The blazer plate project is a single page application based on a standalone blazer web assembly. It is the main UI project that can be used as a starting point for all UI-related functionalities in your application. The host project is the entry point for creating new tenants. The Blazor Play project and the host project use the Web API project to send and receive data through RESTful APIs. Web API project depends on both the application and infrastructure layers. However, the dependency on the infrastructure layer is only to support dependency injection. The Web API project receives HTTP requests from users via API controllers and wraps them in request objects, which are typically data transfer objects. The API controllers act as a mediator between the outside world and the use cases in the application layer. A data transfer object is an object that is used to encapsulate data and send it from one subsystem of an application to another. These request objects are sent to the corresponding command and query handlers via a mediator object. The command and query handlers are responsible to pass request objects to the corresponding use cases in the application layer. In software and systems engineering, a use case is a list of actions or event steps typically defining the interactions between a user and a system to achieve a goal. The action methods in Web API controllers convert the outputs of the use case into JSON objects that are rendered as HTTP responses. The Web API project should reference the application project, and its types should interact with the infrastructure strictly through interfaces defined in the application layer. No direct instantiation of or static calls to the infrastructure project types should be allowed in the UI project, which is, in this case, the Blazor Plate project. The infrastructure project typically includes data access implementations. In a typical ASP.NET Core web application, these implementations include data access implementations such as the Entity Framework DB Context and Entity Framework Migration Objects. In addition to data access implementations, the infrastructure project should contain implementations of infrastructure-specific services, for example, file logger or SMTP notifier. These services should implement interfaces defined in the application layer, and so infrastructure should have a reference to the application core project. The infrastructure layer may contain other types of infrastructure projects, such as the application resources that are used for localization concerns. Application layer implements the use cases of the application based on the domain entities defined in the domain layer. A use case can be thought of as a user interaction on the user interface. The use case folder contains all application logic. 
It is dependent on the domain layer, but has no dependencies on any other layer or project. These use cases orchestrate the flow of data to and from the entities and direct those entities to use their critical business rules to achieve the goals of the use case. By design, the orchestration will depend on abstractions of external services. The application layer defines interfaces implemented by the outside layers. For example, if a use case needs to access an email service, you would add a new interface for the email service to the application layer and implement it within the infrastructure layer. In general, the application layer contains abstractions, interfaces, application services, commands and queries handlers, exceptions, DTOs, object mappers, and validators. Domain layer implements the core, use case independent business logic of the domain. By design, this layer is highly abstracted and stable. The main difference between the domain layer and the application layer is that the domain layer contains enterprise logic and business entities. In contrast, the application layer contains use case specific business logic. The difference is that enterprise logic in the domain layer could be shared across many systems, whereas the business logic in the application layer will typically only be used within a system. The domain layer contains a considerable amount of domain entities and should not depend on external libraries and frameworks. Ideally, it should be loosely coupled even to the .NET framework. Domain project is core and backbone project. It is the heart and center project of the clean architecture design. All other projects should be dependent on the domain project. This project contains the high-level modules which describe the domain via aggregate roots, entities, value objects, enums, and constants. The benefit of using clean architecture is that it produces systems that are independent of the user interface and database and independent of any external agency. Thank you for watching.